Hi, I'm Sarah Ingram. I work at Red Fire Farm. This is one of our fields, Ludlow Line Field. We grow pretty much all the vegetables that you can grow in this climate, and it's spring right now. The ground is thawing out, and we're doing our first field preparation. Um, so I'm using this tractor, which has a, a spader on the back that that does a, a lot of the first the first uh, preparation of the field to get it ready. I'm gonna do one of the beds that's that's growing onions this year. I'm farming because um, I love food. I actually started out as a CSA member. I became a member of the farm in Poughkeepsie, and before that, I was mostly eating like you know supermarket vegetables and that sort of thing. And the CSA experience totally changed my perception of what food could be. It's like Brussels sprouts. You have not had Brussels sprouts until you've had homegrown CSA Brussels sprouts because they are sweet and, and delicious compared to like bitter and, you know, not worth it. Um, and that was like it for like that for so many things that I had being a CSA member. I remember heirloom tomatoes. We had we had like striped tomatoes. We had yellow things. This was the, this was at the CSA distribution that I went to, and I had never seen anything like that before. I was like, oh, what? And now I'm working at a farm that grows over a hundred varieties of tomatoes, <laughs> and it's it's like, hello, this is this is this is out there. This is this is what our food is like and should be like, and. And why doesn't everybody know that already? Um, but, you know, that's kind of why I've come to farming because I think that there's so much, so much that people can learn and, and get in touch with by becoming a CSA member um, that I learned by, by doing it myself. One of the key things about sustainable food is the soil that it's grown in. Um, we have some of the best soils in the world here in the Pioneer Valley and the kind of farming that we do is really long-term sustainable for, for us and generations to come to keep growing on this land and, and getting great food from it. Um, and, and that's one of the keys, it's like that soil that, that we have that is, is so powerful and, and has like all those properties that you need. To, to grow great vegetables, when you when you bring in organic processes to it and keep it alive, that comes right into the food that that comes out of it. Like you're getting the most vibrant, delicious stuff that exists in the world for food because it's coming from these amazing soils that are taken care of so well. I think the CSA model is an amazing thing for being able to activate the farmland that we have still that hasn't been built on yet and turn it into something that can be preserved. You know, that setting, setting it up to be grown on keeps it for us to keep using forever. And, and the CSA model is just an amazing way for people to get reconnected to that land, activate it, keep it in, keep it in agriculture for posterity. Because right now we're, we're like really hitting a point of of major farmland loss and it's 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 really important to focus on keeping it in action